these are introduced to the crowd. And actually, when you think about it, why should it be limited to championships? Why isn't this system used as long as it can fit the timetable again and again at big spectacular meetings, the commercial ones? So Marvin Bracey then, sitting on his blocks, he goes in lane one, the first of a trio of Americans in this men's 60 metres final. Only third in his semi, though. Xi of China getting through to the fastest loser as the fastest loser. He, too, uh, third in his uh, semi-final. Trayvon Bromel, the youngster, winner of his semi-final, but not in a time that will trouble the likes of Collins and Powell if they repeat their performances from the semis. Kim Collins, 6.49, the 39-year-old, very close to his lifetime best of 6.47. And Asafa Powell, well, after his run in the heat this morning and then his semi-final a couple of hours ago, 6.44 in both of those races, some people whispering that the world record might be under threat. I think uh, Maurice Green, 6.39 from Madrid. 18 years ago is probably safe, but who knows? Powell of Jamaica is a world record holder already, remember, many times outdoors. Although we're now in the era of uh, Usain Bolt. Bing Tian Su goes in lane six. The uh, Chinese was ninth in the World Championship final outdoors last year. He's certainly going to go at least one place better here indoors. Raymond Gittens and Mike Rogers complete the lineup. Gittens of Barbados, the 28 year old in lane seven beside Mike Rogers in lane eight. It would be extraordinary if anybody from an outside lane would come through and take this on the tight indoor tracks. Perhaps not as technical as the hurdles, which we saw uh, pay for one of the uh, Americans. But this 60 meters is nonetheless an unforgiving event. Very little room for error. Bracey in one, Xi in two, Bromel in three, Kim Collins in four, Powell in five. Watch him in that yellowed vest Set. of Jamaica. Sue Gittens. Roger. Good start from Powell. Really good start too from Bromel. Bromel to chase and here comes Powell now. Is he going to get there? No, he's not. Bromel takes it. Look at the time. 6.47. And yet again, yet again, Asafa Powell will have the accusers onto him saying when the pressure is on, he cannot reproduce the goods. He has done this again and again over the years, to be fair. Looked fantastic in qualifying and just not reproduced the form necessary. I don't want to say crumbled come the pressure of the final, but not reproduced what he'd shown just hours earlier. And uh, Trayvon Bromel is world indoor champion. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Equal third in the World Outdoor Championships last year, Trayvon Bromel. But this fella, well, He's not going to be 21 until July. Take a look at it again, Chris. Really compact, isn't it? Gets up into his position really, really quickly. I reckon if Powell had had another, what, 10, 15 metres, he may have hunted him down, but he didn't. It's a 60-metre race, and Bromel knew instantly, instantly, there was no doubt in his mind. Collins also there, or thereabouts, but my word. Collins gets the silver. Bromel 6.47, Collins 6.50. And according to our computer, that, surely that's not right. I thought Powell was second. Yeah, Powell, surely second. I'd like to see it again, but they're saying Bromel, Collins, Gittens. One, two, three. No, that cannot be right, surely. Powell looks second to me. That big, big Jamaican chest of his can't have fooled the uh, timers on this occasion, surely, but Trayvon Bromel, boy, oh boy. And Asafa Pau must have been thinking, this is my time. There is no Tyson Gay. There is no Usain Bolt. This has got to be my day. But Bromel, at the age of 20, and he won't be 21 for another three months or so, three or four months, prefers to race in shorts like Colin Jackson a few years back, rather than the one-piece outfits which so many favour. 6.47 for Trayvon Bromel here, good enough. And of course, a new personal best, his first time under 6.50. The computer's still saying Collins and Gittins second and third, but there's been a, a delay in proceedings, and I think they're uh, reworking the result. Let's see what uh, it throws at us this time, the computer. Well, that clearly shows, surely. Well, Powell in second or third, certainly he's a medalist there in that yellow vest. Who's that on the near side? That Collins is uh, Gittens, I Collins think. is way out of the, the placings there, according to that photograph. So, uh, our computer... 
computer says no at the moment. It says no. Well, it's got Xie down in fourth place, Gittins in third, and nothing so far for Powell. Take a look at this again. Rommel clearly first, and it may well be that Gittins of Barbados in the blue vest there, second to left in lane seven. A brilliant dip from him. Look at he glances across, dips. You're not supposed to do that, that breaks the rules. The coaches will say, no, keep your head for facing forward, drive that chest forward. Millimeters matter. I think Powell's second there. I reckon by the tiniest of margins, Powell's probably taken second, but they are once again are dragging this out to excruciating lengths. Well, Gittins now has been given second in 6.51, so maybe you're right, maybe on the dip he did get it, which would mean, surely, that Powell would get bronze. At the moment, there is no official time being given for Powell at all. He still doesn't know where he's finished. What is bizarre, it's, it took ages and ages the result of the heptathlon to be the pentathlon rather to be worked out no doubt about the winner though he's off and running and into his celebration and still Powell waits this is almost just adding to the misery really he was so confident that this would be his day this was his time it's ironic isn't it when you think how well things have gone generally technically and the presentation has all been so polished and now at the uh, Final hour on this second day of four. Two more great days of action to come, by the way. Let's just remind you of that from Portland. Powell given the silver medal. It has come through now. Bromel 647. Powell 650. Gittin 651. And the Chinese, Xi and Su in fourth and fifth. They're a growing force, aren't they? Monic Rogers in sixth. Bracey seventh. Kim Collins, strange enough, seventh equal along with Bracey. That means down to the thousandth. They couldn't be divided. Extraordinary. Well, now we've finally got the right result, and frankly, we could see that from our replays several minutes ago. So just to recap, Trayvon Bromel is the world indoor champion. Safa Powell, silver, Gittins, the Beijing gets bronze. I don't think anybody's told Safa Powell yet that he has the silver medal. <laughs> They're onto him already. The British. You going to the anniversary games in London, or don't you know? It's a little bit uh, of a strange time to be asking about his summer of racing. Is that Mr. Wilbur Greaves asking the question? No, it wasn't. No, it was some other British official. But uh, they are all volunteers. They do a fantastic job. There are dozens and dozens of them out there on the uh, infield through the four days, and just a word of praise for them. They don't get a great deal sometimes. To the right of picture, that's Wilbert Greaves, former top British hurdler. I think he was fourth in the European Championships back in 82, Wilbert. He was a very, very good hurdler. Slightly more of him now, of course, than when he used to get over the barriers so efficiently. But Asafa Pal, I think, now has heard at last that he has a silver medal, but it's not the calorie he wants, Chris. The guy is going to end his career at this rate. Don't let's forget that Pal is 34, 33, excuse me. He is uh, going to end his career without that major global goal. Individual goal. That'll haunt him. 6.44. It's ironic, isn't it? Because he's, you know, several times a world record breaker individually. Has relay gold medals and world records galore. But he will be known, if he's unlucky, as the nearly man. Well, the man who is not the nearly man but has a world title today is Trayvon Bromel at the age of 20. 6.47, a personal best for the young American to take a title for them. Another gold for the USA. They're having a great week already. Powell and Gittins, silver and bronze.